My name is Mary Carrillo, and I'll be your child's teacher. In this classroom, we have eight kids. The ratio will be eight, one, three, meaning eight children, one teacher, and three assistants. And throughout the whole day, we'll always, we're going to be interacting with the children throughout the whole day, the time they come out of the bus, the time they go home. And one of the things I do is during circle time, I tend to use a lot of music. So it will get the kids motivated to listen, to focus, to dance, everything. So after the um, circle end means, I go to, I use the basic rules that I go throughout the day. And these are the rules that I use with the children. As you can see, uh, they have visuals and they could go over the visuals. And for example, one of them is be safe and it states feet down, hands down, and listen. What I always I tend to use is use your ears. It's a formal way I could get the kids to listen. And also another one is be kind and I will say be nice. And we all take turns. And as we all take, and also, do we be quiet? And also, we use nice words. But at this point, since most of the kids are learning, learning to communicate, we we just use one word: the be nice, be nice. And also, another one we use is be helpful. We clean up, as I use a word called bye bye toys. Once the children, or once we go to the next activity, I will say, okay, bye-bye toys, we see you later. And the kids will all get pick up the toys and clean up and put in their own spot where they were playing. Each container has the picture of the toys that they were playing with. So another one is ask for help. So if the, ki if the kids are struggling, I'll tend to have the kids. I'll demonstrate it. If they need help, they will tap me in the shoulder or grab my hand. In other words, is listen. Use your ears. And also another thing that I tend to use throughout the whole day is like a behavior chart, a behavior cue, which is stop. If I see them running or running around the classroom, I'll show them this stop. As well as sit. If I have as I see during circle time doing a lesson, they're getting up. I'll say sit down, sit, and they'll see the ch the children, you know, they'll they'll sit down. And also another famous one, be quiet. If I tend to see the kids screaming, be quiet. As well, the famous one is no biting. So one, that's one of them. And if they tend to for example, hit or bite, I tend to take the kids on the side. I say, let's relax our body. Let's count to five. Since if they're learning how to count, I'll go with them. I say, five, four, three, two, one. Relax. And then once I say, you're ready, they are either say yes or shake their head. And I'll keep, I will keep an eye on them to observe. There's no such thing as time now. I tend to say, let's relax your body. You need to calm down before you get go to the next activity. And I will say, oh, also, I know you're excited, but we don't bite, we don't hit, we don't throw. So they're able to understand. I tend to repeat this over and over every day. So how I plan to create a positive learning environment, for instance, happy. I will bring the vibe, the happy vibe to the classroom. We don't use no, no word, negative words. We will rephrase it from it, and also I'll have my assistants be have a positive attitude. There's no negative. Whatever I said to myself, whatever problem you have, outside is all about the school. So one, one where one big happen, it we tend to have fun throughout the whole day. And also one is the activities you can be done. You could be doing painting with your kids. You could do coloring with kids, take a crayon, let them scribble paper. Also, a famous activity they like to do is um, the baking soda and vinegar. 
have the children put in a clear p container, put them vinegar there, put a little bit of bacon soda, let them see the bacon soda erupt, and they will have so much fun, and there are so many vocabularies you could use. Going up, mix, pour, and also as well as you're learning five mother skills, holding the container, move, moving it down there so you're able to see. Also, if you want to come to the classroom and volunteer, let me know. And when we have a special event such as right now, in March, we're going to have a, a read aloud. We're going to read a book. And you could come along and read to the class and do an activity as a group. So you could get included with your child's education as well. As I said, if you want to e contact me, email me, and I'll respond to you during kids' nap time. Or in the morning, before the children get there, or when the children leave. Feel free, I'm here to help you. We're one big family. Feel free to, to ask me any question you want. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Thank you.